Are you interested in crafting 3D zoom animations with Stable Diffusion and its depth map extension? We've got you covered. Plunge into immersive visuals and lifelike depth, breathing life into your static images with exquisite detail. Before we can make a still image come to life with a 3D zoom animation, we should ensure that certain prerequisites are met. Requirement 1. Depth Map Extension Let's get started with the process of integrating the Depth Map Extension into your Stable Diffusion interface, enhancing its capabilities and enabling the creation of stunning 3D effects. Let's start by navigating within Stable Diffusion to the Extensions tab. Now select the Available sub-tab and click on the Load From button. Search for the Depth Maps extension and click on Install. After successfully installing the Depth Maps extension, head over to the Installed tab and choose Apply and Restart UI. I strongly advise conducting a full restart of your Stable Diffusion for a smooth experience and to avoid any possible errors. If the installation of the Depth Map extension was successful, you should notice a new addition to the top nav bar within Stable Diffusion labeled as Depth. Requirement 2. We need to start with an initial image. This image will serve as the initial step in the process of generating a 3D zoom animation video. In this tutorial, we'll be working with an image that has a 9 to 16 aspect ratio, and it was generated using the text to image function in Stable Diffusion. Let's open Stable Diffusion and navigate to the depth extension in the top nav bar. Initially, we'll generate a mesh file, which will be used later in the process to craft the 3D zoom animation video. A mesh file is a digital file that encodes the geometric structure of a 3D object or image. Next, proceed to upload the initial image to the canvas within Single Image subtab. We will compute on GPU, select CPU if your VRAM is less than 8 GB. For the model, we will select Res101 and we will enable the Boost checkbox. Enabling Boost will activate multi-resolution merging, leading to substantial enhancements in the quality of results. For optimal outcomes, it is recommended to use the Res101 model, which we have selected. We will check the Save Outputs checkbox and also, we will enable Generate 3D in Painted Mesh. I recommend not selecting the option to generate four demo videos. In my experience, these demos often exhibit inaccuracies, especially in the X dimension, which can result in videos with blurred and indistinct edges. Next, we will click the Generate button to generate our mesh file. Once the rendering process is finished, you will find a successfully generated mesh file in the directory path, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Outputs, Extras Images, Once we have acquired the mesh.obj file, we can continue by navigating to the right side of the depth extension interface, where we will select the Generate Video sub-tab. Next, let's adjust the following parameters to shape our 3D zoom animation with the mesh file we previously produced. Of course, you're welcome to explore and experiment with your own creative twists. For our input mesh, we will type in our relative path to the object file we previously created, the relative path is outputs, extras images, and then the object file name. In our case, this is depthmap0012.obj. For the number of frames, we will select 240, and for the frame rate, we will select 24. This will result in a 10 seconds 3D zoom animation video. For the format, we will select MP4, choose WebM for superior compression. This is perfect for enhancing web performance. For the SSAA, we will select 4. Super Sampling Anti-Aliasing SSAA can be used to get rid of jagged edges and flickering. The render size is scaled by this factor and then downsampled. For the trajectory, we have selected Circle. For Translate, we have selected the numbers for a motion in three dimensions. Don't hesitate to explore these settings and experiment to achieve your desired results. The rest of the settings we have kept at their default state. Now it's time to select the Generate button and patiently wait for your static image to undergo the transformation into a 3D zoom animation video. After the rendering process wraps up, we can observe our 3D zoom animation in full motion. You'll discover the successfully generated 3D zoom animation stored in the following directory path. Stable Diffusion Web UI. Outputs, Extras Images. We invite you to appreciate a selection of our exemplary 3D zoom animations. 
As you enjoy these top quality animations, we kindly ask you to consider subscribing to our channel, giving a thumbs up, and leaving a comment. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.